What's up, what's up everyone? Uh, Drax here and welcome to Show My Random. So, I'm going to do a uh, quick comparison between two mics. Please forgive my um, setup. <clears throat> uh, yeah, <laughs> sorry about this one because um, I was kind of... I was kind of lazy. Um, apparently, my current mic, the the one at the back uh, there, eh, I'm not sure if you, that, that one at the back, is uh, set up with a, a um, shock mount that, that's, um, that fits it, but it doesn't fit this other mic. So... <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, that's the reason why it looks like this. Anyway, um, please forgive me. Uh, just like I said, I just want to do a um, quick comparison. Anyway, you are you are <laughs> you are currently hearing uh, audio from this mic, and I would probably be peeking or whatever because i am not using any filters this is raw audio <clears throat> my semi-complete booth isn't closed it's open well half open i have my fan outside because if you notice from my other videos i perspire a lot when i do my recordings inside this booth 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 <laughs> okay there so, it's all raw audio. I probably won't be even post-process this one. Maybe. Or uh, probably boost. No, G give it a little boost. <clears throat> um, post-process. But definitely, uh, I, I won't clean anything out. You, you will hear audio as is. I will turn off well i just turned off my fan so that um everything's clear uh so the zing ubm 800 800 it's it's all over the place um i actually didn't know that there are a lot of uh zing U mics not just the the bm 800 i got this one it's either from lazada or shopee i can't remember um but this is the first mic that i actually had well there's a different bm800 but uh, this is the first mic that uh, i used more uh when i was beginning my journey as a voiceover talent so this is the zing U B bm800 um you can it usually comes with uh on on a kit it comes with a scissor arm it it comes with a uh let me pick that up. A uh, wind foam, uh, a, a USB sound card, an XLR to 3.5 millimeter uh, cable, a shock mount. What else? Um, a pop filter. So it usually comes with that as a kit. Now, this is cardioid and a cardioid condenser microphone. And being it, uh, the condenser microphone it requires phantom power right now uh, there are people uh, there are kits that um not just the zingu bm 800 but the, there are a lot of bm 800s out there that comes with a v8 sound card or a usb sound card um yes it works technically but it doesn't really bring out the full capability of the condenser microphone because condenser microphones, most of them, or if not all, are built to be used with phantom power. So if you have a condenser microphone and you are not using it with a phantom power, you are not maximizing its full capabilities. Anyway... A quick search on online. Uh, I live in the Philippines. That's why I usually use uh, Lazada or Shopee. 
or uh, Facebook Marketplace because um, I haven't really tried uh, uh, Amazon, ordering from Amazon or Sweetwater or well, other places uh, outside of the Philippines. But, um, I, I got this one from Lazada and this is how it sounds like. So polar pattern cardioid frequency range is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Why am I playing with the foam? And uh, sensitivity is uh, negative 34 dB plus minus 2 at uh, 1 volt over PA at 1 kilohertz. Uh, max SPL of uh, 132 dB and it, it weighs in at 1.4 kilograms um, with a diameter of 1.9 by 6.3 inches it comes in black silver black and gold silver silver as you can see it's got a zing you mark up front and this is how it sounds like okay uh, this is the first microphone that i used and uh, yeah i actually got a gig i got a voiceover gig with this microphone and because of that because of that gig i was able to um upgrade to this microphone the one at the back which i will be switching so uh into so that you could also hear how it sounds like okay so the the bm800 um prices vary from 24 25 dollars to 39 50 50 40 uh, 45 dollars uh in the philippines it's around no oh, anywhere from 2000 just the zing you bm it bm 800 okay so 2000 to 4000 4500 pesos so uh yeah just just um make sure that you are getting the right brand okay zing you has different mics like i said and um there are also a lot of bm 800s out there which means if you see a bm 800 just being a 800 it doesn't mean that that it is a zing you okay so just to be clear uh plosives um tagalog plosives uh well it has a pop filter very close to the pop filter it's not supposed to be that way but no no it has to have some space but anyway just so you could hear uh pitong pot pitong puting tupa pitong pot put Meh, pitong put, pitong puting tupa. There. This is how it sounds like uh, proximity wise. Uh, this is its proximity effect. But I usually talk about six, eight inches away from the mic, and this is how it sounds like. Okay? So, there. Um, very good frequency response range. Um, it's got a small diameter um, cap. Um, pickup capsule inside uh, again it runs on phantom power now let me switch over to the other mic or my main recording mic today i also have a, a shotgun mic that i use outside the booth um for for my f um for my other recordings like, like or if i do if i stream on facebook using StreamYard so that's a different thing anyway let me stop this one and switch oh by the way this is connected to a Behringer UMC 202 HD and I will also be using the same USB audio interface for my other mic I won't touch any gain settings again I'm not gonna do anything at all except switch okay now let's switch and we are back so now i have switched my microphone and i am now using a behringer tm1 
you might be surprised to hear that Behringer has a TM1. Uh, this is actually a Tanoy TM1, but when Behringer acquired Tanoy, they rebranded the Tanoy TM1 to a Behringer TM1. So I've heard. Now the the TM1 comes in a uh, recording package, and it's got this shock mount with a pop filter right there. We got of course the mic. Uh, an XLR to XLR cable, a pouch, and that's pretty much it. Okay, so the Behringer TM1 is a gold-plated one-inch capsule. It's got a cardioid polar pattern, same with the Zingy PM800. Uh, it's got extremely low noise circuit design. Uh, of course, since it's a condenser microphone, it requires phantom power. Frequency range is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz or 20,000 hertz. Uh, sensitivity 30 minus 34 dB plus minus 2 dB at 1 kilohertz. What I like about this one is it's self noise or inherent noise. It's inherent noise. You might be surprised. If you if this is just the first time that you're hearing this, is 4.5 dBA SPL. So this is a pretty quiet microphone when it comes to its self noise or inherent noise. Maximum sound pressure level or SPL is at 138. 138 decibels at 1 kilohertz uh, signal to noise ratio is at 88.5 db spl at 1 kilohertz according to iec 651 output impedance output impedance output impedance of 100 ohms plus minus 30 percent at 1 kilohertz it's kind of weird to to follow a uh, different pronunciation rather than the Filipino one so when I was growing up it's Im impedance and ohms so 100 ohms output impedance so <laughs> output impedance of 100 ohms all right see 100 ohms at 1 kilohertz uh, connection is uh, XLR like I said it comes with an XLR to XLR cable so female to male uh, cable um, dimensions it's 189 by 54 millimeters and 354 grams now earlier according to the website that I uh, was uh, referring to or using as a reference for the BM800 it says there that the net weight is 1.4 kilograms and the TM1 is actually just 354 grams. This does not weigh 1.2 kilograms. It's actually lighter than the TM1. Okay. Uh, if if you would research a bit, just Google search a bit, you would see that the TM1 actually looks like an a, a uh, Rode NT-A1 microphone and it's got similar specs now I'm not sure but people do claim that this seems to be a clone or a based off of the Rode NT-A1 uh, price difference of course um, th this one is un under a hundred dollars if I'm not, not if I remember it right uh, well if I'm I will be basing it off of uh, say Sweetwater I think or Thawman Thawman yeah Thawman Amazon um, yeah uh, uh, wait where's that Sweetwater oh, it didn't show but yeah um, Thumbman, if I remember it right, it's about 95 pounds, I think. 
Oh, 85 pounds. Sorry. It's 85 pounds. If I switch that to US dollars. I should have just changed the currency, dummy. So this becomes so from from eighty five pounds. Now switching to US uh, ninety four. Yeah, so ninety four dollars for the whole set, right? Uh, of course, in the Philippines you ha you'd have to deal with with shipping because none is available here, like locally that you can immediately find. Uh, not even through Lazada or Shopee, unless, uh, um, except I mean, except for Audio Zone PH. Audio Zone, that, that's far as I, as, as I know, right? As of this recording or as of this video, uh, I got this one from Audio Zone PH here in the Philippines. Audio Zone PH, uh, that guy has a Facebook page and a lazada shop so and that guy alan from audio zone ph is very helpful like really you you he, he his customer service or his support is pretty awesome he's gonna answer you a lot of questions i mean if you have a lot of questions if you're starting you're not sure what equipment to get huh uh, that guy that you know talk 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 to that guy Alan from Audio Zone PH. Or if you have questions, yeah, feel free to interact with me. I I'll try to help you as best as I can. Okay? If you are in the Philippines, yeah, do do reach out to Audio Zone PH because I got this one from them. And if you're interested in this microphone, if you are hearing, if you like what you're hearing, and I have been talking with my fan on. Just to be fair, let me. Uh, so I just turned it off so you can have a fair comparison with the Zingyu BM800. Uh, you'd probably be hearing a little more uh, hum if from the BM800 you're hearing, you're still, you still heard humming. That's from my laptop or my computer. So now there. Uh, uh, as you also noticed, I did not use any wind foam or windscreen for either of them. This does not come with any wind foam or windscreen, so it has just the pop filter. Anyway, uh, plosives wise, uh, pitong put, pitong pitong, pitong put, pitong puting tupa, pitong put, pitong puting tupa, pitong put, pitong puting tupa. There, uh, this is uh, the proximity effect of this microphone, and this is how I use it normally. Like I said earlier, six to eight inches away from the mic. Now, like I said, with, with the BM eight hundred, I did get um, gigs from that, and uh, because of that, I got. I was able to upgrade to a TM1. If if you're starting in the voiceover uh, business, or or yeah, uh, and and you don't have a lot of budget, a BM a BM800, a proper BM BM800, right? When I say proper, when you open it up, you should have proper circuitry inside like that right okay I'm just making sure or I'm just covering all the bases for you guys or basics for you guys so make sure that you have that because if you don't uh, chances are No, I'm having a problem returning it. Okay. Because it has to be centered properly. There, there, there's a lock. See? So, if if you don't get it, because I've, I've seen... I, I have a friend who, <laughs> when he bought his... Uh, I think that was a BM8000. 8, 
it's just it just has a little board just like that inside and uh i don't know it, it sounds like it really sounds like crap so anyway that that was a very cheap um, microphone so is it possible to get gigs with a bn 800 yes it is possible based on my personal experience would i be able to get more i'm not sure however when i upgraded to this one one of my clients did say that uh well they immediately noticed that hey your first recording sounded like this one now it's kind of sounding different what did you do do did you, you know post process we told you not to post process anything and i'm like no no i did not post process anything i just switched microphones and yeah so th they were pretty happy with with the change that i did and um they said that if if for for future um collaborations or future projects with them they prefer for me to use this current microphone or if so I would be upgrading, make sure that it would be a better microphone than the Behringer TM1. I cannot slide back for them, right? So anyway, now that you've heard both microphones, please um, leave a comment. Um, uh, I'd like to hear your opinions and, and um, or your thoughts and uh, do hit the thumbs up and also do subscribe please right uh if you have any other questions um yeah like i said just interact right covid is still out there please uh it's what december 19 2020 philippines time covid 19 is still out there please stay safe uh, follow uh health protocols properly and uh yeah stay healthy peace and i am out